My name is Carson. Welcome back to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in today's video, we're going to talk about my buying experience going to Home Depot and picking up this Husky 52-inch uh, double stack toolbox. As you can see here, my old toolbox is a Craftsman, used to be black, out of the middle, red section. Still is not enough. I've outgrown this, and so now I'm needing to upgrade. Recently purchased this Husky adjustable workbench and really impressed with the soft closed drawers on the Husky and the build quality. So uh, looking at Harbor Freight, looking at this, this seemed to be in my price range. Unfortunately, I've been looking at this for over a year now, just been trying to push off this purchase and prices have gone up significantly. So this used to be like a $700 box. I picked it up for $1,098. I did get a $50 discount because it was uh, a little bit of an experience in the store picking this up, so we'll talk about that. But uh, today's video, we're going to do kind of the unboxing and assembly. And then in a future video, we're going to take the Craftsman and move everything over into this box, kind of show you the difference between the two, how much more storage space we have here. And then we're going to retire this guy and turn this into a hardware cabinet um, to hold all our screws and nuts and bolts and all that. So I think that'll be a good use of that. And without anything else said, we'll uh, get into the unboxing. Now that I just did all that, I think, actually, this just lifts off. Oh no, we're backwards. The reveal is ruined. The suspense continues. Well, let's do a little bit of story time. I don't know if you get buyer's remorse because I often research everything I buy extensively. Um, usually I get the opposite. I get the lack of buyer's remorse. So in this situation, if I would have bought this sooner, I wouldn't have been dealing with a toolbox that's overflowing and I wouldn't have been paying three or four hundred dollars more for this setup. Finally decided to pull the trigger and go and pick it up. Went to Home Depot, went to the customer service desk after extensively looking through the store at all the toolboxes they had out on the floor. Did not have this particular model which I decided was the best fit for me. So I went up to customer service, uh, said they had six or seven in stock. Uh, they sent me out with a, a a rep and we walked around went out to the garden section couldn't find any looked in all the upper shelves up there went back to customer service went back to receiving tried to find it went back to customer service we walked all over the store um, they, they were great um, they felt really bad that I had to walk all over the store with them and so they, they ended up giving me $50 off I didn't ask for that I, I think that they went above and beyond to help me get this what we ended up finding out was that this was still in the trailer in the receiving dock. Luckily it was towards the end of the trailer. They ended up pulling out half a dozen other boxes out of the back of the trailer. Pulled this one out, loaded me up. Um, awesome customer service. Um, Home Depot is awesome. Um, no complaints there. This is not a paid sponsorship, paid full retail for this. But um, really happy with the experience. It was a probably an over an hour ordeal in order to time it in the store, time out of the store was uh, easily over an hour. So, got this picked up, loaded it up in my clothes trailer, brought it home, and here she sits. So, it's just me. We'll see how I can do and just put this together. Um, it might be a process. So, probably the first step will be to put casters on the main cabinet. Then we'll get this guy lifted up on top of there, bolted on top of there, uh, maybe put the handles on, maybe not, and then we'll like I said, in a future video, we'll swap these out and uh, start loading up tools. So this is sold in a set. This is their 52-inch 15-drawer heavy-duty tool chest and cabinet. They basically got their DIY homeowner series. They've got the heavy-duty in the middle, and they've got a professional series. Professional series is quite a bit more expensive, um, so I figured the heavy-duty is the best option. 19-gauge steel, 35,000 cubic inches, um, full extension, 120-pound rated soft closed drawers that was really important to me um, we've got four heavy duty casters supports up to 3,000 pounds and then we've got drawer liners included so we've got the lower section and the upper section and it comes with a power strip okay I'm going to put the casters on this end which will be the right side I'm going to put the straight ones on the left side so that I can wheel it back into that corner Thank you. 
I've watched a lot of review videos on this, and uh, like I said, this is the box I've chosen. I think it's best for me, so um, I'm going to point out some flaws, but that doesn't mean this isn't a good box. These are just some things I'm noticing. In a couple of review videos I watched, they mentioned how this trim up top here was a little bit cheap, and I was like, okay, whatever. I um, mean, you know, the box looks fine, but when you're underneath here putting these wheels on, and you see these edges that are kind of popped off, this little rivet thing on the side does feel kind of cheap and with the, the texture right here this almost looks plasticky next to like some tin, real thin tin, so that does look a little bit cheap. Um, I, I'm not super worried about it holding up but it, it is something that kind of sticks out to me that the Craftsman doesn't have. And then also on these casters, as you tighten these down, which if you buy this in the store you're not going to notice this. but. So these casters, the holes and the casters don't line up very well, and the caster holes are quite a bit bigger, and so these washers kind of bend as they go inside there. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm worried about those loosening up over time. I don't think it's a huge deal, but something I noticed during assembly that maybe most people wouldn't have would noticed. So on this Craftsman, I mean everything just, it feels pretty sturdy, pretty strong metal, and all the edges feel you know, nice and polished and nice edges on it. Whereas this box doesn't feel as clean. It's like they had an edge here that needed some beefing up, so they had to add that little cover plate. I don't know what the purpose of that is, but it doesn't look as quality as what it could. Um, but I mean, this is a much bigger box, so it's going to be really nice to have that extra storage. We'll keep putting this together. We got both wheels put on, or all four wheels, and. Um, on to the tricky part, putting this guy on top. We'll figure out a system. See if I can do this without having my wife have to come out. Oh, another thing I was going to mention real quick that I haven't seen in any of the review videos is the fact that these do come with grease cirques. I guess this black is it's having a hard time focusing on the black, but we had a grease cirque on all four wheels, so that's cool. Um, that's something I didn't realize this had. Oh my goodness, we are struggling today. Must be the cold weather. Okay, we've got our bottle opener and our two brackets for the top box. We've got these fasteners for the handle here. We'll bolt this up real quick. I always think it's nice to have a little bit of a handle to move stuff around with. As I mentioned, so far I really like this Husky table. The one thing I really don't like about it is this top is really soft. It's like uh, cork material or something. So I'm gonna just try and protect this. And I think if I can lift it up here, slide it on, raise the bench, slide it next to that thing, should make this job easier for me. Okay. All right, well, she'll go. I did upgrade these casters, so these are actually really nice, and the lock mechanism is much improved. Okay. Limited for space here. Okay, keep how we go. Yeah, those casters are not the best. You know, it's got a nice big, big mechanism to step on there. But those feel really kind of chintzy. Whereas these guys that I just upgraded to on this guy, really quality, fully off Amazon. I'll, I'll throw a link to those. Someone else did a video on these, this Husky. My workbench and used them and I was really happy with it. We've got a 10 millimeter Allen on here. Makes quick work of that. 
This is a little bit of work to hand crank, so that definitely takes the work out of it. Bolts on. Okay, should we do a quick toolbox tour? Uh, first, let's talk about kind of why I went with this box. They've got a couple different iterations of this box. Um, I really prefer working from about right here, kind of waist height, up until about eye level. So that is my preferred box. If I could have my choice of a box, I would actually probably take this bottom box right here and elevate it two or three feet off the ground so that all those drawers were right at my ideal height. Um, and the, the boxes they had, I think they had this 15 drawer box and they also had like a 23 drawer box. The 23 drawer box had like little tiny one inch boxes. I wanted to have, after my experience with this box, I really wanted to have more bigger drawers for my sockets. So thinking about having this big drawer be my socket drawer, I'm a little bit worried about weight capacity. This does have the dual um, weight capacity or the dual rails so that should help with weight capacity also um, these drawers up here are deep enough that they could work well for that these top ones will work great for a pliers drawer screwdriver drawer those type of things and then I'll have some bigger boxes down there to hold some other items so it's gonna be a little bit of adjustment this box is a little bit lower than what I'd like you can see here um, you know those upper four shelves or whatever four drawers are above this um, but one thing that's really nice about this is this upper cabinet is is really eye level and it's not a workbench height but it will be uh, usable height whereas this box things get lost up there because it's up too high so in the next video we'll uh, transition everything over kind of talk more about pros and cons uh, but that's kind of a quick uh, put together assembly video talking about our experience buying it that's one thing going in to buy it I didn't really know what the protocol procedure is you go to the back of the store pick up a cart, roll it to the front, or if you have to go get it in a box. Um, not all of them come in a box. You have to, you don't always have to assemble it. But uh, I'm actually glad because I know this one wasn't on the floor. Uh, people weren't messing with it, playing with it. Some of the ones that are on the floor had messed up um, slides, and, and actually one had a really messed up top lid that didn't close straight. So this thing's unmolested, brand new in the box. The box looked like it was good condition, so... I'm pretty happy so far. It does come with the power strip right there. One of the boxes I was looking at had a power strip on both sides, which I would have loved to have had, but uh, I don't want to spend any more than this. Um, there is another version for 100 bucks more for 11.98, and it's supposed to come with an LED light up top here. Um, but yeah, we'll get this thing hooked up, plugged in, and uh, put our tools in here. Well, that'll be it for this video with Thrifty Garage. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you on the next one.